Hey Sagittarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of August 12th through the 18th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And just full disclosure, the retrograde energy is definitely messing me up. So this may or may not make sense, but I definitely have officially warned you. So let's see what we get for you, Sagittarius. Right, we have the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck love it i feel like you are considering a opportunity a new offer but something about it may not be exactly what you thought it would be or it may not be exactly what you were looking for but a part of you is saying well you know what is the worst that can happen if i just take this offer maybe it's you know a stepping stone for the one that i really want some of you are just kind of in the zone of I don't really want this but I know that I need it or maybe it's supposed to be a learning experience I just kind of feel like you are you know hoping for the best here we have the ace of pentacles then we have the ace of cups then we have the star which is Aquarius then the chariot which is cancer and then the fool and then the three of wands almost like the universe is saying Sagittarius I know that right now it's not looking you know too promising but just know that this is going to lead you to exactly what you want so have faith, have hope, be optimistic, because once you are in the zone, you're going to hit the ground running very quickly. So I feel like the universe does want you to take this chance because it may just lead you to the path that you are that you are looking for. We have the lovers, which is Gemini, five of cups, two of swords, seven of wands. To me, the seven of wands and the two of swords kind of represent this resistance, you know, kind of feeling at a crossroads, hesitating a little bit, thinking, okay, is it really going to work out? Do I really want to put myself in this situation? Is it going to be worth it? Also, that five of cups could be a lack of motivation, a lack of desire to like see this through because maybe you don't feel like it is going to be worth it. But then that lover's card to me is your higher self. You know, it could be a relationship. This could be about love. Maybe you are considering taking someone's offer. Maybe someone is trying to make amends or make this right for you, but you could still be a little bit heartbroken. But I also feel like this the lovers could represent your, your inner self. So some of you are saying, okay, well, what if this is exactly what I need to do or I should do right now in order to get closer to my true goal or my dream? Let's clarify the lovers. And we have strength, which is Leo at the bottom of the deck. I feel like the universe wants you to be brave. I feel like you, you know, definitely are going to benefit from this opportunity. You're going to benefit from this experience. And I feel like the only way that you're going to know that is if you try it. So some of you do need to get out of your comfort zone. You do need to take, you know, this kind of... Um, I don't even know how to say it, but I just feel like there's so much, there's so many signs related to this. And I feel like a lot of you could be seeing them and not realizing that they are divine signs. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo, and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles definitely are you know, confirmation cards for this being exactly what you need to get to where you want to go. Eight of Pentacles is you putting in the effort right now. This is you being consistent, continuing to show up for yourself, knowing that eventually it is going to lead you to your goal. Nine of Pentacles is having the confidence, having the faith, you know, recognizing that you are worthy of what you want. And so naturally, it's just going to happen. I feel like the magician is about the fact that right now you're manifesting, but you have to believe in your manifestations if you want them to come true. You can't manifest half, you know, in, right? You have to manifest fully. So maybe this is about you kind of realizing that you haven't been manifesting 100%. You've been, you know, saying things like, okay, well, I'm going to try this, but, you know, if it doesn't work out, Universe wants to stop you right there and say, Sagittarius, you can't do that. If you're going to manifest something, you have to follow up with it and say, when it works out, when I get there, when this, when that, not if. So I feel like the strength card is almost like you needing to be strong for yourself and really stand up for this dream or this goal that you have. 
Let's clarify the Five of Cups. And the Moon, which is Cancer at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like the unknown is a scary thing. And maybe for some of you, that is your biggest fear, is walking into the unknown without any preparation or any experience or any idea of what you're going to do. But there's also something very liberating about that, very freeing. Because if you don't know what to expect or where to start, right behind the moon is the hanged man, then technically you can't be faulted. Is that the right way to say it? You can't be faulted for that. You know, you can't be in the wrong if you don't know what to expect or you don't know what to do or you're just starting something. I feel like with the Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles, the universe is literally saying, okay, Sagittarius, let's just go there without any expectations but to just do our best. Let's not be worried. Let's not let fear or doubt stop us. And let's just build. Let's just learn. Let's just see this as an experience to just build from the ground up. Because to me, I feel like this is an opportunity that's going to help you get to where you want to go. Especially for those of you that recognize that everything that you're doing is part of this journey. You know, maybe there are a lot of steps in between. But I feel like the only way to get closer to your goal is to start, you know, climbing the ladder. You have to start somewhere. I feel like that's the basic theme of this reading is that you have to start somewhere. So I think that for some of you, this is that encouragement, you know, that divine kind of universal motivation to just go for something, even though you don't know if it's going to lead to where you want, but knowing that you just have to believe that it is, honestly. I feel like it's hard to trust something that you can't see, you know, to trust something blindly, but that's what faith is. That's what manifestation is, and this is you doing it for you. So, Really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.